Nasikh and Mansur in the Holy Quran, certain ayat cancels another one. Pan? Nasikh and Mansur, yes, quite yeah. right. Yeah. And uh, he was saying that, as it says in the Holy Quran, La taqrubu salatu antum sukara. And on the other hand, another place, it says about uh, the alcohol that, that should not be, mm -hmm. uh, it should be avoided. And they were saying the two are contradictory to each other. And sukara here means that you are. No, no. Which you, we, of course, take yes, it. I understand. The, the point is that previously, all many scholars considered some verses to be that are doxical to the others. And uh, they uh, th thought one abrogated the other. And the number had swollen to 500 or more. And even those 500 had shifting platforms. All scholars did not agree that these were the 500s. According to some, these were the 500s, and according to some others, the others one. So they did not exactly overlap. So that this kept shifting and bringing more and more verses under the shadow of doubt. So that was how they played havoc with the certainty of the Holy Quran and cast a shadow of doubt over so many verses. Hazrat Masim of the Salaam declared for the first time in the world of Islam that there is not a single verse of the Holy Quran which has been abrogated by another one. And uh, this in itself is that is the only contradiction which uh, should uh, come to your notice because when you claim the Quran has no contradiction and you see so many contradictions so the very first claim of the Holy Quran is negated that is La, la Raiba Fihe so this is the most important contradiction which should draw your attention you are creating it not removing the contradictions that was the argument of Hazrat Musim of the Salaam and many, many other arguments against this concept of abrogation of some verses. But let's go back to the history. Many scholars thought in the beginning that hundreds of verses had been abrogated by some others. Later on they began to understand. Many traditions of the Holy Prophet appeared and they pointed out the true meaning. So gradually the numbers started decreasing from many hundreds to hundred or some or plus, then it fell down 70, 50. Ultimately, a century before Hazrat Musim of the Salaam, Hazrat Shah Waliullah Muhaddis Telvi declared that there were only five verses of the Holy Quran which are, which are abrogating five others and the rest we have solved. So it was a pros, pros, gradual process of solution and seeing light which, uh, took, play, took, oh, uh, which took place during many hundred years. It was a very slow gradual process. So still five verses were understood to be as uh, having cancelled out five others. <coughs> Muslim of the Salaam solved them as well and said that Allah has told me there is no question of any verse being abrogated. The Holy Quran in each dot is worthy of uh, obedience and uh, the Holy Quran would remain uncancelled um, till the end of the time. Now these verses which have been mentioned, they are also, um, I mean, prominent among the among, among such verses. This word sukara has been misunderstood. People think that this verse be appeared before the drinking was prohibited, and then when drinking was prohibited, it became redundant. This verse. There was no need of this verse. This is not true. The word sukara applies to a state of mind where you cannot understand what you are saying. You are not clear about it. And that state of mind can appear 
with, from disease, that can, state of mind can appear by uh, um, heavy, uh, heavy sleep. If you have not slept for many, many days and you are terribly tired and uh, you start saying prayer while the sleep is overwhelming, it's impossible for you to concentrate. You may be thinking something else and saying something else. So this is the state which is described as Sukara. And when this verse was revealed, a similar situation had appeared before that, where unintentionally some Sahaba were saying things other than what they should have. So the state of Sukara is a constant permanent state which can be created things other th by things other than wine. So that is the simple explanation of that. Sukara is, is not necessarily <coughs> caused by alcohol. Other states can cause the same thing. And now there are other drugs for instance. They can cause the same situation while they are not prohibited in the sense that they are not alcohol. So, we brought a Christian friend for yes. I think he wants to uh, ask you some please, questions. Please, would you kindly come forward, please? <coughs> Could you first introduce yourself? Well, I'm Alex. I'm at uh, Queen Mary College University, in yes. East End, London. Queen Mary's College? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. And I've been there for about three years. And Consumer. what are your subjects? I'm computer engineering. Engineering? Which engineering? Computer engineering. I see. Please, you, come, you can come forward Sorry, can a I? bit. <laughs> Closer to the mic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's a privilege to be amongst so many God-fearing men. <laughs> yeah, it's a privilege to be amongst so many God-fearing men. Um, I know Camden calls discord, um, but something that's very much on my heart is that all my Muslim friends declare that this book, which is the Holy Bible, as we usually refer to it, has been corrupted by the devil. Now, um, I know it disagrees in many of its teachings with the Quran, having been reading the Quran as well. And I have this conflict, because I believe in this book. Um, I've never yet found a single manuscript in the whole world that would predate the ones the Bible is based on, yeah, and that show the uncorrupted state. Because apparently in the Quran it does say that all the scriptures which are given by Allah, God, cannot be twisted in that kind of way. So, I mean, I'm, can you tell me of any, in any uh, university? Which verse of the Holy Quran you are referring to when you say that the Holy Quran declares that uh, my words cannot be twisted. It's referring to those things which God has revealed, they cannot be changed. No, and it, it, it never says that. The Holy Quran says that the conduct of God mm -hmm. can never be changed. Mm -hmm. The nature created by God can never be changed by man. But the Holy Quran very spe specifically declares referring to the Old Testament and other revelations before it, that they came in all purity from God, mm -hmm. but later on got interpolated mm -hmm. by men mm -hmm. who were corrupt. Yeah, so the really verses, verses of, the, of God cannot be corrupted in the sense that they remain pure. But the corruption of man gets its way, makes its way into the books and it begins to change the meaning. So whatever is changed, that is man-made, that is corrupt. And whichever part is from God, that remains uncorrupted. So in this sense, corruption has in fact uh, uh, entered into the previous uh, books and the evidence of that corruption can be found in many ways. Internal contradictions, to the extent that it is impossible to solve those contradictions. Contradictions between the word of God and the act of God, which is normally impossible. The God of nature must also be the God of the, uh, of the scripture, because there are not two gods, not two creators. And if that being so, if that, that is so, 